All week we will be talking about infrastructure and what's being promised in this election. And today we'll hear from people who are building our infrastructure, the construction industry. Joining us in studio is Ed Whalen. He's the president of the Canadian Institute of Steel Construction. Welcome to your morning. Good morning. Uh, let's get to the politicians' promises in a moment. But first of all, what is the biggest issue facing your industry right now? Well, from a government perspective, the biggest issue we're having is, is fairness in government procurement. Uh, that's some of the things that we're going to be looking for the government and the various parties to, to be reacting to. Uh, I guess the second most important thing right now is just dumping and subsidizing of fabricated structural steel into the Canadian market. And just a reminder for people, steel dumping is when uh, countries like China, for example, will sell Canadians... Uh, steal at half the cost or at a cut rate? Exactly. So they, they're, they're either selling at below fair market value and as well as in the case of China where the, the government is illegally subsidizing their industry at the detriment of, of other countries' uh, industries. Let's uh, outline for everybody what each of the parties is offering in terms of infrastructure this time around. Uh, the Liberals are promising to build 100,000 affordable homes. The Conservatives say they'll get pipelines built. The NDP will require all national projects to be made using Canadian steel, and the Green Party will change the building codes to require construction meet zero emission standards. Do you like so far what you've heard from each of these parties? I, I do in a way. Uh, I think uh, the, the biggest issue on, and, and topic on everyone's mind is the environment. And I think due consideration needs to be do, uh, uh, made with, with what Canada and North America can do for the environment. Uh, with respect to steel, uh, uh, North American steel is one-third the greenhouse emitter than all other steel made in all other countries. Uh, we're, not, we're not compensated for that. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're looking for the governments, not only the federal level but the sub-federal level, to, to put in place for government procurement uh, incentives to purchase from North American and uh, North American fabricators and steel, mm -hmm. uh, as well as putting in carbon tariffs for, for steel from the private sector that's brought into Canada uh, to encourage proper behavior. If, if we can get an effect globally the market using a North American steel versus uh, other, other steel from other countries, we should be doing so and encouraging that behavior. What is not being talked about by the candidates right now that you feel should still be on the agenda? Well, I think uh, in, in Canada, we're, there, a lot of the parties are talking about putting Canadians to work. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so we're hearing a lot of lip service about uh, the middle class. Uh, but on the same side, we're seeing a lot of work that the, either the government is encouraging to go offshore or they're not encouraging enough to stay within, within Canada. So I think what we're looking for from an industry is, is uh, increase uh, infrastructure spend, but make sure when that infrastructure spend happens that there is some incentive uh, and some consideration for Canadian, uh, Canadian workers. Uh, Ed Whalen, I want to thank you for joining us here today. Five days to go till the election. They Five days. Some, they have some time to pay attention. All right, thanks so much. All right, thank you. Hey, stay with us. Tomorrow we're going to hear about what the candidates should be promising to do with green infrastructure. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.